Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can backup and restore MySQL databases using MySQL Workbench. So let's start the video. So first of all, I will start my Workbench. So just type Workbench. You can see I have Workbench 8.0. So I am just starting this. And here you can just connect to your instances. So let me just click on this. Now it is asking me password. So I'll enter my password. Okay, so it has connected to my workbench. Now here I will go to server menu and here I will go to option data export. So now why to export or why to take backup of your database? So for example, I'm working on one machine. Now later on, I change my machine. I shift it to some other machine. So, but I need my previous database. So what I can do, I can export my databases and then I can take copy of that database and then I can import that data to my another machine. Hence, export and import are very important. So here you can see it is showing me all the databases in my this instance. I have around 7 to 8 databases so I am going to take this database CBSC and then here you can see I am having 4 tables if you want to export all the tables then you can select them individually or you can click on select tables also. Uh, if you don't want all tables to be exported then you can select the specific table but here I want to export all my tables so I have selected all tables and here you can see it is showing me option dumb structure and data dumb data only dumb structure only so if you want to take data as well as table then you can select this option dumb structure and data if you want only data then you can go for dumb data only if you want to have only structure of your table you can go for this option so I want both structure as well as my data. So I am selecting this option. Okay, now here you can see we have two options. One is export to dump project folder. Another is export to self-contained file. So there is a difference between these two options. If you are taking export to dump project folder, then later on if you are importing your uh, tables, then you have option to import individual table also. But if you are taking export to contained file, then you won't be having option of importing single or individual tables. So I will be showing you both the options. So let me just select export to dump project folder. And here this is the path of dump folder and this is the file name. So I am just giving file name as my dump okay this is what my file name and then what you need to do you need to click on start export option here also we have start export you can click on any of the options so let me just click on start export and now you can see my file has been exported i'm getting message 4 of 4 exported my dump has finished so now let me just take you to the path so this was my path so I'll just copy and I'll just take you to this path. So you can see my dump folder has been created and here it is showing my database name underscore my table name. So whenever you want to shift to another machine, what you can do, you can take this files and then on that machine you can perform import operation. So now I will be showing you the second option then I will be showing you import option. So let's go for export to self contained file. Now here you can see it is showing me some file name dot SQL. So my all code is going to come in a single SQL file. I won't be having option for restoring my individual table if I am doing this so. So let me do this also so click on start export now you can see here it is showing me this dump has finished now i'll take you to folder again dumps folder and here you can see i'm having only a single file and in my previous case for each and every table i'm having sql file so my export is done now i'm going for import option so again i will go to server and then i'll select option 
data import here you need to browse your dump file name which you want to import so let me just click on this and then i'll go to my dump and let me expand this here it is showing me only my dumps because i have selected option as import from dump project folder not from self contained folder so now here you can select this dump file and then here it is showing you your database and now here if you want to import all the table you can select or if you want to import specific table you can deselect and then you can click on start import option so now you can see it is showing me my dump has finished so it has been imported now i will go to the second option that is import from self contained file so i'll select this option and here i'm going to browse my dump file so this was my dump file name self contained dump file name and now you can see it is not showing me individual table name that's what the difference between self contained and project folder now i will just go to import again now it's showing me message that it has finished with one error and what is the error that database is not selected this is the problem when you do self contained import so this problem can be solved by just going to your folder and just go to that dump file and just edit it so you can edit with any editor so let me just select uh, wordpad and then here i can have my database name so this was my database name so here i can write use cbsc okay and then i'll just control s i'll just save this file and let me close again i'll come back to my mysql workbench and then here again i'll click on import again and now you can see it is showing me sql has finished so this way you can backup and restore or you can export and import mysql databases using mysql workbench other options are also available like mysql dump command is also there you can use that also for exporting and importing your databases so this concludes my video i hope this video has help you if yes then don't forget to leave a like and if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notified whenever i post video like this thank you for watching my video till then see you in my next video till then bye bye and take care